thing about rear view mirrors, it's pointless if you aren't going forward. It really is, it's kind of pointless. Um, even when you back up to get out of a parking space, you pretty much turn your head or you look in your, uh, you know, for your fancy people, they got little monitors now. You look in the monitor. You don't look at your rear view mirror really only except when you're driving forward. Have you noticed that? And so, for the people who are inactive in life, it's hard to have hindsight because you really haven't gone anywhere. There's nothing to look back on. You know what I mean? And I say all of that to say that there's a lot of inactive people who don't know that these motivational speakers and motivational quotes and memes aren't really doing much for them because they're not putting forth action. I mentioned this on my Facebook. I was like, listen, the motivational industry will never go out of business because people will rather feel good than to do something about that feeling. I mean, come on, man. How many seminars and books and things you got to read? Um, or, you know, how many life coaches do you need in your life before you start to do something? But that's the thing, man. People like the, the pep rallies. They like the pump fake. They don't like to shoot. They don't like to do, man. And as long as you have those people, you have that target audience, you're going to make a whole lot of money being a motivational speaker. Because you're banking on them not doing what you're motivating them to do. And in turn, they stick around and they buy your product and they buy all your books and they buy everything. So the true successful motivational speaker is the one who loses their fan base because they're actually giving them practical things for them to do. Like, come on, man. Like, for example, if I'm motivating you through these videos, great. Show me by actually applying some of these joints to your life. Like, I, again, I'm not big on having a million followers and people resharing and, and reposting my stuff if you aren't going to apply any of this to your life. Like, come on, man. That's true success as a motivational speaker, as a life coach, as anything, man. Like, being a leader isn't about how many followers you can gather up. It's about how many leaders and how many people you can motivate to do something. They have to leave your nest for you to be effective. I mean, come on, man. I'm a parent. I'm a parent. And I would fail as a parent if my kids stayed in my house when they in their 30s and 40s. Like, at some point in life, they're going to have to move. My son is already on the countdown to, to 18. Like, he's about to turn 10 this year. He got eight more years. 18th birthday. Happy birthday, son. Here's an apartment application. Here's a job. You know, some things like that. Now, my girls, you know, I give them a few more years, you know. I'm just, I, I'm halfway kidding, but on the, on the real, like, we have to prepare people to go out and do. Not just tickle their fancy. So, miss me with all that motivational stuff if you ain't gonna do nothing.